Yeah, I'm still sick, so I figured we could knock out another one of these. And I'm too lazy just yet to try building that shelf again. Soon, though. Anyway, whenever you see this high-tech logo, you should know to be on your guard. And this is Rollerblade Racer. I mean, look how glaring the box art is. Ugh. You play as this loser, I mean this kid Kirk, and he's so proud of these rollerblades he just bought. Proud enough to wear them like a necklace and stand around in socks. And the rollerblades are the same color as the rest of his outfit, diluted ketchup. He needs our help getting 5,000 points to enter into a rollerblade challenge. Before you start the challenges to gather points, you can practice, but don't bother. The first challenge is basically just to survive. It reminds me of Paperboy, where we are at this slanted angle and everything is after you. Is this what we can expect at the competition? Unsupervised toddlers rolling into the street, missing manhole covers, street in disrepair? Yeah, Kurt comes from the rough part of town, hence the diluted ketchup. You finish the challenge, find out how many points you got and how many more you need. Man, look at Kirk, he looks so smug. The next challenge is jumping barrels. Are we going to find Donkey Kong at the end of this thing, or are these just leftover barrels from Mighty Final Fight? The next section appears to be in a city or a downtown area, and like before, you just got to make it to the end and limit the amount of falls you endure. If you get in this one spot, you can basically cheese the level, which is good because a time bonus is an easy way to make your points, which by now we have more than enough points for the challenge, as Smuggy Kirkman tells us. But he's such an overachiever, he makes us keep doing the challenges. Instead of going through the cone course, I say let's cheese it and head to the side again. And same with the beach level, cheese. Did the game designers put this in here on purpose? Yeah, really high tech, guys. Eventually, we do get to the Super Rollerblade Challenge. I don't see any spectators or anyone trying to interfere with us. You can actually cheese the Super Rollerblade Challenge. If you do, you get this ending which says we need to practice more and let's hit the pavement. Essentially, I think this is the bad ending, but still technically an ending. If you do the competition correctly, you'll see points awarded as you go. And if you do well enough, we win first place where Kirk is given a medallion around his neck and he wields the Eye of Sauron. He says he can't wait wait to do this again. Well, I certainly can wait wait until the end of time to do this again and it would still be too soon. Then it shows the credits including a guy named Stefan and an artist named Kevin Kirk. Probably the namesake for the character. I wonder, did this team of individuals draw straws for the name of the main character? And to think, I was going to buy or rent rollerblades to record myself falling all over the place, maybe hire some dogs and toddlers to trip me up, shut down a neighborhood street with barrels and cones. Okay, enough of this. Credits. I'm going to go take a nap.